hello i thought i'd make a quick video i really don't know what i'm gonna talk about um basically i think this video will go back to that um self-fulfillment you know that i talk about at times being self-fulfilled you know it's my my daughter's birthday was august 4th they turned nine and it's always a big deal for me to celebrate their birthdays. And I was trying to figure out how I was going to make it creative for them, how I was going to make it special with the social, social distancing. Um, with the lack of social interactions, I knew that I needed to provide them with alternatives to video games. So about two weeks ago, I bought them a trampoline. And we were at Walmart, and I asked the girls to make a choice. Did they want to wait till their birthday to get a trampoline? Because the thing was like $200. Or did they want it? you know, um, early. And of course, as a child, you know, they said they would want it early. I said, okay, but it's still a birthday present. Then, um, because they weren't having a party and my kids have been begging me for a puppy forever. And I'm real picky about pets. I like pets that don't require a lot of attention because I'm always busy and I'm always the one who end up having to take care of a cat or a dog or something. And I knew I didn't have a whole lot of time on my hands. However, because, uh, of what's going on and with COVID-19, I'm, I'm able to do a lot of my work at home. So this would be the perfect time. And because we weren't having a party, I said, okay, let me find my girls a puppy. So last week I drove to Cleveland and got them a puppy. And that was about $200. So now um, no party, but I'm still like spending money. And usually my parties can get a little pricey I think the most expensive party I ever had was a home party. It was like fifteen hundred dollars, like. And I thought a home. I remember growing up, a home party was hot dogs, chips, cake, ice cream. Kids play outside. You might, might get a clown, but it wasn't that much. But between the moon bounce, but I also incorporated school clothes into their parties and school supplies, book bags, things like that. But um. There's no uh, going to school right now. So I said I can save money and not have to really buy school clothes. Um, so anyway, I didn't mind getting a trampoline. I didn't mind getting a puppy. Um, I baked this cake for them. And that took a lot of time. I also did their hair. And their hair cost me about 70 or so dollars. And um, they've been doing really good. I've been locking their hair up. I've been teaching them about their inner beauty. Even though they're beautiful with their locks, they're used to having beads and, you know, everything that makes their hair so. But I've been teaching them about how beautiful they are, just like they are. So I said, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and put some braids on top of their locks and put some bedazzles or hair. Uh, we call it hair bling. Hair bling in their hair. And it took me literally two days to do their hair. So last night I had a conversation with the girls about gratitude. Yeah. And they've been doing so good. And I've been, I ain't been struggling emotionally with this whole birthday situation. But as moms, you know, and as parents, we want our kids to be happy. So I've been thinking like, wow. Is it selfish for me to teach them about gratitude during their birthday? But no, because they need to know. How would they know about gratitude if we don't teach them? How can these kids learn about what it means to be grateful if we don't teach it to them? And what better time than during a birthday? Because they can have this attitude of expectancy, like I'm supposed to do this. And they need to know that everything that mommy does for you is a blessing and a sacrifice. It's a personal sacrifice. It's an act of love. So I asked them what it, if you know, do they knew what it meant if they knew what it meant to be grateful. I talked to them about gratitude. I told them to give me some examples or tell me some of the things you've already gotten for your birthday. I still have a few things here that they're going to open up after my son. I'm at, I'm picking my son up from work now. So when we get home, we're going to sing happy birthday to him and they can open up some things their father sent them. And I tried to treat everything I got them in these last couple of days as gifts. They got some new masks. Um, those were gifts. The time that I, I so yeah, anyway, I asked them, um, what's some of the things mommy got for you? You know, they said, uh, you did our hair. I said, are you grateful? Yes. It, why? Because it made me feel special. Um, I feel pretty. 
Um, you put your time into it. And I want them to know that these things, these concepts. I said, uh, what else? What you got outside in the backyard? She's like, oh, my trampoline. I said, that's right. And um, what else? What else did you get a few days ago? And they mentioned the puppy. And I did mention the price of some of the stuff to them. I was like, you know how much that thing cost? You know, even though, you know, we generally don't share prices of things with our kids or whatever. I want them to know that these things cost money and that it is a sacrifice and that it's not something you just get. You know what I mean? It's an act of love and kindness. You mean the world to me. There's nothing I won't do for you. But you're going to be grateful. You're not going to have this attitude of expectancy, thinking that this is something I'm supposed to do. And, I, you know, I told them that they were perfect just like they were and how much they meant to me. And they reciprocated it. Like, I was just like, wow, really? Mama, you're the best mom ever. You you are just just like you are. You are just the way you're supposed to be and all this and that. And anyway... um, uh, you might have heard me mention before about boredom. I don't get bored. I don't believe in it because I try to keep myself filled. I try to keep my life filled. Um, I like to accomplish first-time experiences. That was the first time I ever made that particular cake. And once I got towards the end, it was slightly intimidating at the thought of putting the um, strawberry sides up. But I knocked it out. I tackled it. Um, if I have a... I don't have an ego in terms of being selfish, but if I do, I feed my ego regularly, almost daily. I try to do something that's going to make me feel good about myself. I don't have time to sit around being bored or feeling inadequate. I feel wonderful because I feed myself good thoughts. I feed myself things. I allow myself to experience new things and learn new things so often that, um, I feel wonderful, and I mean, I, I, I do. I feel that I want to live my best life. I want to live my greatest life. Um, it's my passion. I, I really wish, you know, would love for everybody and for people to want to live their best lives as well. Some people don't know how, but everybody has potential, not just potential. Everybody has gifts and things inside of them that they can know and develop. And it may be something you've never even done before. That's why I take risks and try new things. And I just, you know, I really do sincerely care. So much so that my son picks on me all the time about why you care about people so much. I don't know. Yeah, I just do. I mean, I teared up yesterday when the ambulance rode past me. Not, And I'm not weak. I'm not a weak person at all. But that's somebody's grandmother uncle son daughter somebody this ambulance was just rushing past me like they were trying to either get to somebody and it just touched my heart you know i really do care i care i don't know why i was created like this but i do you know what i mean but also that means i have to be careful about who i allow in my life around me who i expose myself to because i know i have value and in the wrong hands um, somebody could try to take advantage of your kindness or your or of that special person that you are. So I have to have boundaries about who I allow around me and in my personal world. You know, developing yourselves, developing your worth, how how much you love and feel about yourself. You know, it, it takes time sometimes, but the more I love, I spend with myself, the more I don't mind being by myself. Um because I'm, I love my company. I keep my life filled. I'm tired. I've been very busy and it's still not over. It's almost over. And I should be wrapping presents right now while I'm waiting on my son and I'm making a video, but that's okay. Uh, my day has, my last few days have been filled. I still haven't posted videos of the, of the girls yet or their birthday. Um, tomorrow I'm taking them to a drive through safari out in Grove City. Uh, my son is walking out here right now, so I'm going to get off here because he's going to call me corny if I don't. And everybody have a blessed day.